Impact Plus. Experience Impact Wrestling like never before. And ladies and gentlemen, it is time for our Hard Justice main event, the controversial situation revolving around the TNA world title finally to be settled tonight. And I understand that Booker T is on his way to the ring. And there you see it backstage, the locker room area. Booker T with possession of the TNA World Heavyweight Championship belt, accompanied by wife Charmel. But bottom line, that championship belt that Booker T wears out to the ring tonight is a championship belt that he did not earn. He is the self-proclaimed champion of the world. Booker T, six foot three, 253 pounds. He survived a brutal beating by Samoa Joe at Victory Road and walked away in possession of the TNA World Championship. Now he battles Samoa Joe in the match of his making. Six sides of steel with weapons. Is this the night that Booker T begins his official reign and finally fulfills his destiny in TNA? It was one month ago at Victory Road in Houston, Texas, where Booker T, with of all people, wife Charmel, issuing the three count. He left Houston with the TNA World Heavyweight title belt. Tonight, it's Samoa Joe's chance to get his title back. Well, Samoa Joe let him keep the belt. That was the thing that kind of surprised everybody, but Joe used it as motivation. In Joe's mind, as long as Booker T, wearing that belt around his waist, then that keeps him focused on the task, and that's getting it back to his rightful owner, which of course at this time is Samoa Joe. You can see now Booker T, that look of, of pure dedication for what he's gonna go through tonight. Buddy, you better plan on being hurt, because you're gonna get hurt in the six sides of steel. And there you see the man who's the real champion here, Samoa Joe. You'll remember that initially, Joe issued a challenge to settle things in the six sides of steel. But then it was the counter offer by Booker T. He said, we're gonna add weapons to the six sides of steel cage. He is no stranger to brutality and brawls. A smash mouth ground and pound specialist the Samoan submission machine, Samoa Joe, is the officially recognized TNA heavyweight champion of the world. Standing in at six feet, two inches tall, and weighing 290 pounds, the future of professional wrestling seeks to prove that the future is now. Of his title belt, 
to the ring, Jeremy Borash for the official introduction. Ladies and gentlemen, the following contest is scheduled for one fall and is your main event of the evening for the TNA Heavyweight Championship of the World. When the bell rings, the man in charge, TNA official, Mr. Earl Hebner. And now, ladies and gentlemen, live from Trenton, New Jersey, it's time for your hard justice main event of the evening. The rules for this match are follows. The winner will be determined by pinfall, submission, or the first man to successfully exit the six sides of steel. Introducing, first of all, the challenger. He stands in the corner to my left and is accompanied to the ring by his wife, Charmel. He weighs in at 265 pounds and comes to us from Houston, Texas. He is the number one contender for the TNA Heavyweight Championship of the World, Booker T. And now, ladies and gentlemen, introducing standing the corner to my right. He weighed in this morning at 288 pounds and comes to us from the Isle of Samoa. He is the current reigning and defending TNA heavyweight champion of the world, the Samoan submission machine, Samoa Joe. What an interesting situation to hear JB talk about Booker T being the number one contender, yet he's wearing the championship belt while the champ doesn't have the gold. But he now has the opportunity to prove to everybody, yes, he can beat Booker T. Six sides of steel. You see the weapons in play, Don. I see hockey sticks. I see canes. I see trash cans, kendo sticks, lids. A little bit of everything. Of course, the key to this match is to make sure your opponent is laid out, not getting up, so that you can just exit out of the six sides of steel and come on, walk over and take this championship belt. And yeah, it may have been confusing to some people, maybe watching for the first time, but you're right. Samoa Joe let Booker T keep that belt as motivation. Told him to polish it up. I'll come get it when I'm ready, because all he's heard is what he can't do with Booker T. Boy, I like that mindset. This Booker tried to get a hockey stick and use it on Joe. Joe just came right at it. Just disable the weapon from it. Sets him up in the corner. And right above us here, Don, you can hear those chops to the chest. Booker sent for the ride. Joe gonna follow up. Oh. And, oh man, did he just drill him in the corner? He just went right at him, and Booker T was waiting. Think about it. You've got weapons everywhere. But the actual ring itself right now is a weapon. The six sides of steel are unforgiving. They have no give in them. I mean, it's like hitting a wall, and it's like hitting a cheese grater. So you've got to be careful with that. It's not just about the weapons that you can get a hold of. And again, for a second time, we see Booker T grab for a weapon, and Joe cut him off, not enabling him, not allowing him to use it, and then Joe catches him again, first with the elbow, and then with those very talented feet. Boy, he caught him that time and drilled him. It amazes you every time you see it, how high in the air he can get those kicks for a big man. I mean, it's just, you cannot ever judge a book by that cover because he's one of the most agile athletes we've ever seen, and that's right. At 280 plus pounds, this guy can do things that just defy logic in his size. Joe pulls down the trash can, positions it for oh. Booker, and then just caught him with that kick. Look how he just completed. Oh, man! He sent down right on top of the trash can and smashes it into Booker T. Advantage here in the early stages of our TNA World Heavyweight title, our Hard Justice main event has to be Samoa Joe. Well, I'll tell you what though, that's where you could see, I could see it on his face. That shot hurt him in the back. I mean, when you do something like that, you don't think about the damage it can cause you. Now he's grabbing the kendo stick as Booker T's trying to get to his feet. Look at it. Joe twirling the weapon around. Oh, oh my, what a shot to the side of the head. Oh, those things, it's unreal. You know, you see the, the trash can lids and the trash can, but that kendo stick, there's just something about it. You can hear it, you can feel it. Joe stalks Booker in the corner. You see the punches, the series of shots to the head, to the midsection. Talk to some 
somebody and, and, and been hit by one, they'll tell you they'd probably rather be hit by a car door than a Kendall sticker on the head. Quick reversal here by Booker, able to shoot Samoa Joe off into the corner. First signs of offense from the actual challenger in this match, Booker T. Now he's got Joe on the defensive. Well, you can hear Booker T screaming. I mean, it's getting him fired up. Oh, man! He just crushed it. Crushed that garbage can right on the forehead of Samoa Joe and knocked him down, and now Booker. He's looking around. He's just got his eye on that hockey stick, and he wants to use it. And you can see he's looking at the back of Samoa Joe right now. The hockey stick oh. that Joe blocked earlier, able to move out of the way. Oh, my. What a kick by Joe. I'll tell you what, Joe just, again, just his quickness was surprising. And right there, he had to use it. It was desperation because you see that swing Booker T took with that? I mean, he didn't hold anything back. Joe's got another weapon, pulling down the trash can lid and circling while Booker, Booker's down, and now Joe's got the second trash can. I, I have a feeling that we know what he's going to try and do here. Oh, he's going to ring his bell. Yep. Man, does he ring it. Both shot. Look at him. Oh! In the back. And then one for the face. Holy cow, he hit him on the ears, the back of the head, and the face with the trash can lid. Series of three shots one, leads to two. this. The pin attempt and a two count. You can hear Charmel screaming at her husband, trying to cheer Booker on here. Joe methodical at this point, but it looks not like he has some kind of a game plan when it comes to using these weapons. And he's got the steel chair now. Oh, he took a swing and, oh! Whoa! How about that spin kick by Booker T? As Joe missed with the chair, Booker just kept his motion going and just spin kicked it right in his face. Had all that momentum behind the kick and the steel chair went right into the face, as you said, of Samoa Joe. And now Booker's got the chair as a weapon, and Joe's down, back exposed. Joe gonna try and get back up to his feet. Booker's got it. Booker's got the chair. Almost as like if he's waiting for Joe just to get up so he can hit him with, with more impact, and that's exactly what he just did. The knockout blow, the oh, chair to the top of the head. You can see where he caught him. I don't know if it was on the spin kick that he caught him there or right there. But Booker T has busted open Samoa Joe, and now look at him. Just applying the fist right there where he knows he's hit him hard. And oh, no. Oh, takes oh. the trash can lid, positions it across the head and face of Joe, and drops down. Leg right across the weapon. Right, and there you can see that Joe has been busted wide open, and the blood now flowing down, and look at where the blood's flowing down into his eyes. Oh. Could be a problem in terms of Joe's vision going forward in this match. Oh, and you can sense that Booker T feels it. I mean, he's got the advantage, and now look at that. Using that, that, is it like, a, is it like an axe handle or something? Like, it's hard to see from where I'm at. Yeah, some kind of a handle. Sure. And he's just using it on the neck of Samoa Joe. Oh, Joe's just wobbling. Look at Joe drop down to a knee at the same time that Booker goes up to climb the cage, and Joe is there, gonna try and cut him off. Booker trying to escape the cage, and they meet up at the top, and Joe with right hands. Series of shots by Joe, gonna try and snap him down off the top. I'll tell you what, he just grabbed him by the neck, but I'm gonna tell you, Booker T not only hit his face with the man, he had a bad landing with his leg, too. As you can see, Joe, as the blood's getting wrapped, kind of rolling into his eye, he's gonna have to just somehow clear that out of the way. You gotta wonder if it's affecting his vision. I'm watching him wipe it away right now here in front of me. Also takes away from your focus, from your concentration, on what your next offensive move might be when, you, when you're concentrating on the fact that you've got that blood flowing into your eyes. Joe with the right. Sets up Booker, you can see Booker's wobbly-legged at this point. Three shots, four shots, now Joe takes him and just drives him. And you talked about maybe the ultimate weapon in this six sides of steel. That's that steel cage, and Booker went right into it. I mean, you're hitting a wall. It is amazing. It's because of the six sides of steel, it just takes away any of the give. And now Samoa Joe going to try to climb out of the cage himself and get them. And look at that, Booker going wow. right at him and then just kind of slams him on his back. Impressive power move by Booker on the near 300-pound Joe. The lateral press and referee Hebner counts two. Pin, submission, or escape the cage. That's your options to win the TNA World Heavyweight Championship tonight here at Hard Justice. And look at Booker T. Look at this. He's just got a hold of him. He's got guillotine those legs. Style, guillotine style choke here. Trying to choke the life out of Joe. And he is twerking on that neck as he's got the legs wrapped around the midsection. You can see Joe trying to get a base, trying to get to his feet, but at the same time, that blood's got to be gushing him. Look at it. 
Joe's got his foot on the rope. The rep and nice. finally, referee Hebner notices that and breaks that hold, breaks that submission move by Booker T. Really couldn't scream anything at it. He couldn't say anything because of the, the grip that Booker T had around his neck. Boy, Joe in trouble at this point, and Booker's got the weapon. He's got the trash can lid in his hand. But Joe's wobbly. Oh, he's he's up to a stuck. knee. He tosses the can, and then he kicked the can right in Joe's face. Well, Joe has to react. You have no choice. It's being thrown at you. It's just instinct. You're going to reach up, and you're going to grab it. Booker T knew that and just followed it with a kick. Here we go. Pin. One, two. two. Joe's right there. He knew where he was. Great ring awareness. Certainly. The ring positioning of Samoa Joe and realizing that he was close to the ropes and able to get the break as, as Booker went for the pin. Charmel obviously not happy with that. Neither is Booker T, who's now trying to intimidate Earl Hebner. Well, the bottom line was Earl made the right call in the situation. And it, he just got to focus on the task at hand. Now he goes right back to where he bloodied him up and just putting those fists right into the forehead. Joe down, and Booker gonna try and climb up the side of the cage, but you can see that Joe's gonna get back up to his feet. Booker makes it now up to the top rope. Joe reaching for Booker to try and bring him back inside. It looked like Booker, there he is, trying to kick him back down, but now Joe's up at the same base that he is, and look at the shots, they're just trading blows. It's gotta be hard to balance yourself on that rope, and you gotta use one hand at least to hold on to the cage. Then Booker takes Joe from around the head, drives in face, but what the shit, you see that? Are you kidding? How do you kick somebody from that position? How do you get, how do you get your balance to be able to spring up into the air? And you can see Booker T dropping down and crotching himself there on the top rope. I mean, what an opportunity it is right here for Samoa Joe. Unbelievable that he's able to get that out and look at him, he's coming right after him and what a close line. Joe comes at Booker a second time. Drops him with another lariat. Gonna try and shoot him off here and does. Back first into the turnbuckles. There's the snap slam on him for the cover. One, Leg hook. Two, two, no. But you can hear him. You heard that scream come out from underneath him. I mean, you can just feel the frustration. He knows he's turned things around here. Yeah, you can feel the confidence level of Samoa Joe growing, kicks him up, drops him down, power bomb, Booker fights it off, and then Joe goes STF here. He's got the leg grapevine. At the same time, he's got the cross face submission hole applied. You can see him just absolutely pulling on the forehead, pulling back, trying to force Booker T to submit. Booker T just holding on. And look at this, he now grabs the arm and pulls it back, just applying more pressure, more things going directions they're not supposed to go. Booker fighting through. You can see referee Hebner right in the face of Booker T to see if he's going to tap out, to see if he's going to submit. Booker trying to slide, do anything that he can to get his body near the ring ropes to get a break, and Joe hanging on for dear life. You can see Booker, he just, he's reaching out, trying to find a rope, and if it wasn't for them long legs that he has, he never would have caught it. The way that Booker was able to position his body to spin it around, the effectiveness of the cross face was really lost by Joe towards the end of the submission move. Steel chair planted in the middle of the ring by Samoa Joe. Heads back to pick up a second chair. Holy cow, Samoa Joe wanting to finish him off here, give him that death blow. As you can see now, he's got a hold of Booker T. Trying to get a hold of him, maybe hit him with a muscle buster on the chair. One would think the way that he's got him set up on the top rope, but Booker fights Hunt back and then kick. Joe caught him again out of nowhere with the kick. Unbelievable that he can keep doing that as long as this match keeps going. That's really and here it. he goes. Muscle buster attempt here. Booker fights it off. Joe tries to get his legs positioned properly. Now he gets him out. You think he's going to try and do the muscle buster on the chair? Oh, but you can see Booker T, man. He, oh no, look at that. This book hits him right on the chairs. Just when it looked like Joe was going to go for the muscle buster. Booker hits the book in. Joe goes back first onto the steel. Two. Hits down, counts two only. Oh, was that close. Nice counter though by Booker T. I mean, if he hits that on the chairs, it's over. He hits that muscle buster period at this point, it's probably over. But the chairs just would have made it that much harder and he was able to, oh, look at this, here he goes. Busts out the spinner, Rooney, back up to his feet. Doubles Joe over with the boot to the gut. Here comes Booker for the axe. What? Wait a minute. Wait a minute, what's going on again? Booker hit the axe kick and then the lights go out. Could it be Sting? What's going on? What? A guitar. Knockout blow from Samoa Joe. Leads to the three count. Samoa 
Samoa Joe has done it. Samoa Joe has finally beaten Booker T. And he hit him with a guitar. Unbelievable, the lights go out. So you're expecting something like that happened earlier. And the next thing you know, Joe's standing there with a guitar in the middle. And here he comes out of the cage to claim the belt. That's rightfully his. Samoa Joe takes back his TNA World Heavyweight title. But I mean, think, think of that. He used the guitar. I, did, I never saw the guitar in play. Could this mean, Mike, what I think it means? Not, I mean, that guitar, the guitar could mean just one thing. Does this mean that he's back? <laughs>